Hey you! Are you wanting to learn how to differ like this once more? Well, if you are, then why didn't you say so? Cause now this is a revamped version. My buddy old pal here will teach you how to get good at dithering like that. Okay, so what you're gonna need is definitely a 3D software that can like save images. And then after you do that, you're gonna want to download a uh, paint.net. Uh, hold on. I, it sometimes does that, but uh, you're gonna want to get it painted on the right uh, here. I think this is the safe one, but after that, you're definitely gonna you're gonna want to get this plugin right here. You're gonna want to get this plugin. I'll uh, leave the I'll leave the link in the. Uh, description of this video, but then after that you want to make a random object So let's say I, I just want to make a bean And make sure it's like very active so you can get some like good actual dithering And now after that you're gonna want to save it as an image and make sure it's transparent now just name it something it doesn't really matter but um after that you're gonna want to open paint.net and you're gonna want to import your file and now after that you want to uh, learn how to download plugins uh, because this is just I'm not going to do another tutorial, but now with your plugin, you want to go have this. And what I do, honestly, is I just do automatic palette and do stucky. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change. You can do a small palette. You can do a big palette. It doesn't really matter. But just hit OK and boom. Done. You have a bean. I have no idea what you why you want a bean, but hey, it works. And so now you have your dithering, and you can just save as whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it.